welcome. This is Portal Master 9351 with today's installment of Skylanders Video Wiki. Today's segment will be about Gilgrunt. First off, Gilgrunt's catchphrase is Fear the Fish, which is not one of my favorite catchphrases, but on a more gameplayish note, Gilgrunt is a completely ranged ca base character that can deal large amounts of damage while dodging other attacks and not taking much damage himself. He's my favorite Skylander starter pack character, however, and his primary attack is shooting a harpoon at enemies. His secondary attack is shooting a burst of water at his enemies for constant damage. However, at the start of the game, he can't use his attack for very long. His initial upgrades are barbed type harpoon, high pressure hose, harpoon repeater, and water jetpack. Barbed harpoons allow him to do increased damage with his harpoons. The high pressure hose upgrade makes his hose attacks do increased damage and gives it a greater knockback. Harpoon Repeater lets Gilgrunt reload his harpoons faster. And the water jetpack gives Gilgrunt his third ability of hovering with increased agility. However, the jetpack works on the same system as the hose, so it has a limited usage time, and using the hose with it drops usage time drastically. It's, the jetpack is great for being able to quickly sidestep other enemies and then being able to blast them with harpoons and repeating that again. His first path, though, is the harpooner path. This path improves his harpoon abilities. Its upgrades are Quanit Harpoons, which is a play on the name Trident, because it has four prongs coming out of it, Piercing Harpoons, and Triple Shot Harpoons. His Quanit Harpoons allow upgrades allow for his harpoons to do extra damage. The piercing harpoons make harpoons fly through an enemy and make it possible to hit another enemy. Gilbert's triple shot harpoons enhancement lets him shoot three harpoons at one time. Now Gilbert's second path is called the water reaper. This is the one I took with mine. The reserve water tank, the boiling water gun, and the Neptune gun are the names of the upgrades on this path. The reserve water tank is arguably the best upgrade in his upgrade path because it allows for infinite usage of the hose and the jetpack. The boiling water gun is also an upgrade and it increases the damage dealt by the water hose and activates a graphic of steam coming off of the water hose when it's used. The Neptune gun adds an additional feature to the water hose. It periodically shoots exploding starfish while using the water gun and when you're using the water hose you can press A or the primary button is A on the Wii, and you can shoot out exploding starfish on demand. Now, Gilgrunt's soul gem in, this first, in the first game, Skylander Spire's Adventure, is found in Treetop Terrace and allows for a chargeable anchor attack by holding down the primary attack button. Now, in the second game, you'll be able to use his soul gem ability right off the start. You can, you don't have to, there's no soul gem, so you can find it right off the bat. I mean, you can use it off right off the bat. In Skylanders Giants, though, Gilgrunt gets a Wow Pow ability when, with the Series 2 model that allows him to launch three anchors if you've already purchased his Soul Gem ability. Anyways, I find Gilgrunt a great par character as he fits my playing style very well. Thanks for watching. Please leave a, leave a like, subscribe, and comment on this video below. See you next time on the next installment of Skylanders Video Wiki.